Hello, welcome to my class. Today we're going to learn about balancing chemical equations like this one here. Balancing chemical equations is a very easy concept and it's very simple. You just need to follow a few rules. Now, the law of conservation of, ma of, conservation of matter is one of the basic principles that guides us on balancing chemical equations. What that basically means is that whenever we are having substances reacting, for example, in this case, methane reacting with oxygen to form carbon dioxide and water, the number of each kind of element remains the same because you cannot destroy the hydrogen that was here. It, it will only be converted into something else in the product side. So the number of hydrogens that were there in the product reactant side must be the same as the ones that are in the product side. So let us see how to do it very quickly. So now you check on what elements are present on the left hand side, which is usually the reactant side. So here we have carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Then you check each of them, what numbers do we have? Carbon is one, so we only have one carbon. We have four hydrogens, so I put a four there, and also we have just two oxygens, so we have that way. So two oxygen atoms. Now, when we shift to this other side, which is the product side, we still have carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. But the numbers are a little bit different. Carbon is one, oxygen are one, two, plus one, which is two plus one is three. So that is oxygen is three, and hydrogen is just two. Now, as you can see in this equation, Already, you can notice that the numbers are not adding up. They're not equal on both sides. So for us to make them equal on both sides, we need to add numbers before each of these compounds, one or more of them. You could add numbers to each of them. You could add numbers to just one, and it balances. It all depends with the question. Now, looking at this one, this is how we're going to start. We have seen that carbon is already balanced, so there's no problem with it. We're not going to touch it for now. Then we go on to the next part, which is hydrogen. We have four hydrogens on this side and only two on this side. So which number do we need to multiply so that we can equalize these two? We shall need to say if we multiplied two by two, we'll end up with four. So that means the number that we add before the compound that contains hydrogen is two. And that compound is water, so we add a two there. The next thing that we do, this two affects everything in the H2O. So that means now we have a new number of hydrogens, which is a two times two, which is a four. And the number of oxygen has also changed, is now two here. So it's going to be two plus two, which is also going to be four. So now we need to change and check on the left hand side. Now on this side, hydrogen now is balanced, so there's no big deal about it. Oxygen, on the other hand, is not balanced. So we again need to ask ourselves, which number do we need to multiply by 2 so that we get 4? So you get it's 2 by 2. So once again, we put a 2 before oxygen and we end up with a balanced equation. This equation now is balanced and everybody is happy and we can say the equation is balanced. All right, so let's get to a second example. Great, now to the second example, we can see that hydrogen peroxide decomposes to give water and oxygen. Now this reaction usually takes place on its own, but if we added a catalyst, which is manganese for oxide, the reaction will take place very fast. So if we added manganese for oxide, it will catalyze the reaction. But you see, if you have manganese for oxide as a catalyst, it does not take part in the reaction, and therefore, we shall not handle it when you're dealing with the balancing of the equation. So now we look at the reactant side. What elements do we have here? We have hydrogen and oxygen. And the same elements are present on the product side. So once again we count. We have two hydrogens here, so we put a two. And we have two oxygen here, so we put a two. The next one is the other side. Now on this side, 
we have hydrogen which has 2, but oxygen is 1 plus 2, which is a 3. So now we need to balance the equation. Remember like we did in the first time, we said we need to add numbers before any of these compounds and we balance it. It could be one or more. So let's see how it goes. Now since we have two hydrogen and two hydrogen, that means for now, the hydrogens are happy. They are okay. Now when you look at the oxygen, we have only two oxygen on this side and three on this side. That means that we need to make sure they are balancing. Now since this three that you are having here is a one plus a two, you can see we can add a number here and we can add a number here. That means we can change this one or we can change this two. So we try and see how can we make these two equal. Now we'll have to try out and see what if we added a two right here so that now instead of having one oxygen here we have a two oxygen here. So that now the new total becomes four. That is a number that is easy to multiply by in order to balance these two. So what we do here now, this changes everything because the two also affects hydrogen. There is a new number for hydrogen which is a two by two which is a four. So now the number of hydrogen and the number of oxygen has changed on the product side. Now when we get to the other side, the reactant side, we move again and see how do we make these two hydrogens and these two oxygens become four. And again we can multiply them by two and we get a four. So we can put a two before the hydrogen peroxide and of course this will change this to a four and this change to a four. And now the equation is balanced. As simple as that and everybody goes home happy. See you next time.